yes, we might all still be dealing with the Lewis Hamilton news for yesterday, but it is car launch season and Haas is starting us off with the VF24. So before we get into the actual car itself, what do we think of the livery? Not much has changed with Haas. They've kept the same predominant livery as last year. It is mostly black with a hint of uh, white and then the red from their MoneyGram uh, sponsor and that the Haas logo itself on the rear wing, front wing, and uh, on the side, on the engine cover. I actually don't mind it. I think it looks nicer this year because of the more sculpted side pods. The way the Haas logo sits on them actually looks really nice to me. It feels like this is sort of Haas's identity now. This color scheme is their identity because it has chopped and changed over the last few years. They have had a predominantly white car when they had the Euro Cali sponsor and they kept that branding uh, when that sponsor left. Now it's gone to a more black theme. I'm not sure if that's due to the weight issue from a couple of years ago still. They just want to run carbon fiber. The renders do look a little bit carbon fiber. Maybe that's got something to do with it. But I like the way that they've worked uh, the logo this time and the uh, the Haas logo on the side. I think it looks pretty nice. So let's take a look at the car itself. I'm not going to dwell on it too much because I'm not an expert when it comes to the tech side of things. But also, these are renders from the Haas car. And if you might remember, if I show you a render now from the car from last year and then the first shot of it out on track, you can see there is actually differences there. So the version of the car we're looking at right now isn't necessarily the version of the car that we're going to see. And we're going to see it on February the 11th. I believe they're doing a shakedown at Silverstone. But the main takeaway you'll notice from the 2024 Haas, the SF24, is the side pod design. This did evolve for Haas over the course of 2023. This has gone to a much more sculpted undercut version compared to the very boxy version they had at the start of 2023. Like I say, you can see that just from the Haas lettering, the way it actually works around the side pods. They've also gone for a very different engine cover. One of the shots from their social media before the car reveal showed the back of the car. And you'll notice that the engine cover was a wider engine cover, more like what some other teams have had. Red Bull, for instance, have had on their car, whereas Haas was very compact. Uh, they've gone for a very different style there, almost making that lip like Mercedes had, that shelf, if you like. So the front suspension looks pretty much the same, again, from what you can take from these. Uh, but that side pod area is the one that's really what well, makes the car look a lot, lot different. Now, Ayukamatsu the new team boss uh, replacing the outgoing Gunther Steiner has said that they believe this car is going to be the slowest on the grid. Now, he said this before preseason testing, which means they know from their, from their testing, their simulation runs and their targets that they've either met or not met internally, that this isn't necessarily going to be where they want it to be, which is a shame. Uh, but we're just going to have to see when pre-season testing comes. I love this time of year when the, we see the new cars. I can't pretend that I'm super excited for the Haas. And like I say, it's not a massive difference from last year. Obviously, there's big improvements in the car and there'll be lots to digest when it comes to that. Uh, obviously, visually, looks fairly similar in terms of the livery. But Haas isn't the one I'm looking forward to. But it does kick off the season. Here we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.